Cincinnati City Council members are now exploring adding designated outdoor refreshment areas to the Queen City. Walter Smith Randolph explains why the idea is being floated. Drinking outside and over the Rhine could be Cincinnati's next move to attract business for struggling restaurants and bars. Council member Chris Seelbach says this weekend will be a dry run of sorts. We will be serving the restaurants and bars will be serving alcohol on the streets in the designated areas. And so, you know, it's a test to see does this work in our community? With 25 streets being shut down to expand outdoor dining during social distancing, Seelbach says it only makes sense. You could, and there's many rules about it, but have open containers. You could take a beer or a cocktail out of a bar and legally walk around in our parks and the neighborhood uh, with that cocktail. Several other communities like Loveland already have Doras, but Loveland is changing its rules after pictures emerge over the weekend showing large crowds gathering. Seelbach says that's a concern. But if it was up to me, we would not be opening up this soon. But given the governor's decision to open up, we're doing everything we can to ensure spatial di social distancing, physical distancing, which is why we're opening up our streets. For those who frequent OTR, it sounds like a good idea. Well, I'm going to say that having visited other countries, it's about time. I mean, in other countries, they don't have those stringent laws, you know, about imbibing and stuff like that, you know. It encouraged people to come to downtown Cincinnati, and it also helped the, the vendors as well. Seelbach says there's still a lot to consider, and the outside dining will give a better feel of how an open container district might do in Cincinnati. We know that this will probably be good for the bars and restaurants, but you know, over the Rhine, all of our neighborhoods are also very residential. So we have to also make sure that the people who live there are okay with it because we don't want drunkenness and, you know, parties on our streets that keep people up, keep people up all night. In Over the Rhine, Walter Smith Randolph, Local 12 News. Sibok says his idea will be discussed in an upcoming city council meeting, but he does not expect a vote until the fall.